So hello adventurers and welcome to the club. Today I'm showing you what you can make from an old spray cream can. So let's pop this off and open it. Be careful that it is completely empty before cutting into it or maybe it explodes and you're full of cream which wouldn't be that bad. It's worse if it's spray paint. So I have removed this little tip here and now we simply take a punch, you can use a nail or something and we punch this in to remove the rest of it. Be careful, there's a little spring in it. And yeah, there we go. And there's the spring. So next step next. We have to cut it into pieces. You can use some scissors or a Dremel tool or thin snips like those. But it's not very thick so scissors will do fine. But don't use good scissors. They will be dull afterwards. <laughs> so cut this to a round shape there you see that's exactly those little sharp things they are to avoid. So keep a trash can ready. And don't do what I do. Don't <laughs> the table with your hand. That's a bad idea. So, if you got a soldering iron, you can just put it on here. Send away the paint and solder around it and then trim the edges down as far as you want or you have to do some cuts Tja. Just press it into each other. It's a bit force, but it works. So, off camera I did drill some holes in it, you can just use a punchy punch or a nail and a hammer, but as I happen to be at home and have a drill, I use the drill. So the next thing is something I use very often, bike cycle parts and in this case I am unscrewing those little screws that hold the spokes in. I have a little hole, uh, you can't see through it now, but the hole is there. Yeah, that's the part I'm after. And now we're using those here to put them in here. press them in but they are very loosely fitting in it to make it look pretty we can 
Of course, I trust those slits to be in the right orientation. And there we go. Another thing, a screw that fits loosely in the top, because this is where we refill it. And when we're done, we can put a lid on it. So, one of the last steps is to install the wig. They are threaded inside, so you can just stuff them in with a needle and then turn it and like, screw it onto the wig. It's very tight and you want it to be tight so it doesn't fall in. So, now I'm using the same stuff that I will use to fire it, just to wipe it down a bit before I give it its spray paint coat. Because we want this to look as good as possible. So, off camera I gave it a little coat of spray paint. And now, let's remove the tape. Ha, huh, doesn't this look great? <laughs> yeah, I also added the wicks into the little wick holders and what we now have to do is simply to well insert them all into their little holes so after installing all the wicks we take our little bottle of fuel here and use a syringe to zip let me explain. You take the cup and you pour the stuff in here, you fill the syringe and then you fill the little stove. After you're finished with filling it, you screw this little nut in here and well then you put the fuel out of the way and you light it. And after you're done using it, you just simply blow it out and put the cap back on it. So the fumes don't escape and the thing doesn't run dry. And this is why you have to be careful. Yep, that's sticking here right in my finger. Oh, that's quite deep. You see, you have to be very careful with those sharp little things. Yeah, you see, so that's why I'm always saying be careful with this stupid sharp stuff here. Best way to get dirt out of a wound is to simply let it bleed. If you're out in the woods, of course, you want to do something on it, but here at home, I'm just a bit of hand sanitizer, I mean, safety first, right? 